Hey, are you a graphic designer and you feel like you have a thankless job? Maybe you're working a nine to five, making 30, 40, 50,000 on the high end a month, and you just want a breakthrough. You want a real income. You want something that you can put money away with the retirement, and you're just sick and tired of being mistreated and undervalued for your creativity and talent. Well, this video is all about how to increase your income and how to make money as a graphic designer. There may be some areas you may have been a graphic designer for a while and you've been getting commissioned for artwork and design like I do, but you're just missing some areas that you could really increase your income when some of the areas dip, like right now with what, we're going, what we have going on. So without further ado, let's roll into it. Okay, for real now. No, I'm really serious. Let's roll into it. Hey guys, my name is Adrian Boysell. Thank you for tuning in to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. So if you wanna get updates on all my new videos, please hit the like and subscribe button, drop a comment, introduce yourself, let me know who you are. I've recently been getting a surge of emails to my personal inbox, and I'm just really excited to see that you guys are seeing these videos, that it's helping you. Okay, so the first way that you can make great money as a graphic designer, and this is probably the area that you're already in, is client work. Now client work is great. Client work is what fills up 80% of my pipeline worth of work. I spend a lot of my time doing client work. We have a ton of clients. Because of the quality of the award-winning work and how long we've been in business and how many referrals we get, we are constantly busy with client work. But the reality is during seasons like this when people are cutting back, the work starts to slow down. So what happens when that client work slows down? You need to be able to have other revenue streams. But there's all kinds of client work that you may not even be thinking about. Client work can be web web design work, it could be social graphics work, it could be uh, banner work, trade show booths, there's all kinds of really different uh, types of work. There's also other types of client work like doing signage, doing banners, doing t-shirts, there's all kinds of areas that you can specialize in. A lot of people like to do logos and brands like I do, a lot of people like to focus on the web stuff, there's always web stuff going on. Really, there's a heavy amount of work in the client work but it will slow down. It's slowed down for me over the years and it's kind of one of those roller coasters. You're gonna have those highs where you're making lots of money then you're gonna have those lows where you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And you have to go scramble and make a lot of, lot of prospecting and sales effort. And then what happens is you start neglecting the, cur the current plate of work you have and if you're a one man show, it's really hard to keep a consistent trajectory upward on creating more graphic design projects from clients. The second avenue that you can make money on graphic design is teaching graphic design. You can do that one by doing what I'm doing here and going on YouTube and creating videos and training and courses and all kinds of stuff. Or you can sign up on websites like lynda.com. You can sign up on, uh, there's all types of teaching and Udemy, there's just tons of teaching platforms out there that you can sign up on and you can become an instructor, you can become a teacher and you don't have to be the most skilled person in the world at graphic design. All you have to do is have a specialty in one specific area. So like I said, Maybe you're really good at doing logos. Maybe you're really good at doing print design. Maybe you're really good at doing illustrations and characters. These are all areas that you can make extra money and teach people how to do that type of work. There are people that do just typography and make an insane amount of money on typography work. So these are all areas that you can make additional money on just by teaching graphic design. As you know, I make these YouTube videos and I'm not quite at the point yet where I'm monetizing my YouTube videos, but eventually I'll be making these YouTube videos and I'll be generating money from the advertising and from the affiliate programs and from the courses that I have on these. And that's where I'm gonna be making money the third way. And that's what I call passive income. And that passive income is being generated while I sleep. While somebody's watching your, your design video or while somebody's downloading your photo from a stock site or while somebody's picking up some of your stuff for a, from a web design template, there's all kinds of places where you can generate passive income while you're sleeping. So you could be sleeping and people could be buying your stuff online on Adobe stock and Shutterstock and, sh and Shutterfly and all these different places. Then you can go and take your work and put it on Cafe Press or Creative Market or Sector 6. There's all kinds of places online where you can put your logo design you can put your print designs, you can put any of your graphic designs, web design, template, things like that. You can put them online and while you're sleeping, people are downloading them and you're getting paid. So if you forgot them, let me say it again. It's client work, it's teaching, and it's passive income.
Remember, there's lots of resources, lots of websites. I'll drop a few of the links in the description of this video. There's just a lot of resources that I have available to me that I can help you to make more money, to improve your life. You're in a great industry. Even though the industry isn't experiencing huge growth, it's because we're now moving to more of a global economy when it comes to graphic design. There are people that are going to work harder, that are just as talented as you, that are going to work for less money. And there are those price shoppers out there, but they are fishing in a different pond and with a different bait. And that is not the type of customer I want you to go after. I want you to go after the people that see your talent that you can add value to. It's all about value and not price. One of the first questions that I ask all of my clients that separates them between a good client and a bad client is what's your budget? You should be asking every single graphic or every single client that you're bringing on for graphic design, what's your budget? You can sell SEO services, you can sell web design, you can sell pay-per-click advertising, and you can sell lead generation. There's dozens and dozens of services that you can go out and sell and upsell to your existing customers who are needing those other, other services. You can essentially be a one-stop shop. Adrian Graphics, we do commercials, we do motion graphics, we do videos, we do websites, we do content writing, we do search campaigns, we do lead generation. We do all kinds of other things aside from just doing graphic design and that's why we've been able to go from zero dollars all the way up to almost $500,000 in sales in a year. So that is a really good way to supplement your income, to add more money, is start adding on those other services that are higher ticket, that are reoccurring, so you can start creating even more passive income for yourself. So I hope this information was super valuable for you today. I always love meeting with you guys. I always love taking this time to have some fun, to talk about our passions, to talk about making more money and talk about you living the life that you really want and deserve. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope to see you on the next one. And as always, keep looking up.